MustangMedic.com. Day 23 of the 1971 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. Another day in the 71 Project. We got great news, as you guys just saw in the previous video. 429 is good. Fantastic news. So we're going to be in the process of ordering those parts. There's Ricky in the shade. <laughs> um, we're going to be ordering all those parts, uh, planning the 429. We got Daniel behind me. Uh, sanding and working the fenders, the hood, and the trunk. I'll show you Chava in a moment. He's uh, working on the uh, the uh, engine compartment, and we are running off to go get some brake calipers, as you know, and brake pads and whatever other parts we need to uh, refurbish these uh, front braking system. And I'm setting up an account with a, a great company, which is a top secret company because it's. We got hooked up with it through a certain vendor. We can't share that with you, I'm sorry, but we're going to get really great prices on parts, which absolutely thrills us. I got the Mustang Medic. Oh, no. I used to be a medic in New Jersey, uh, EMT, so maybe that's where the Mustang Medic idea came from, possibly. But here's uh, the latest work, and we are off to get some parts. Now, we got some nice sanding going on in the torsion bar. Hopefully, we're keeping that thing. We're going to get some rubber, replace the rubber in here. And I don't know, this torsion bar seems awfully thin, but I guess this is normal in 71. We're gonna look into that. Chava's making some progress on the shock towers, which makes us very happy. Thank you, Chava. Good work. And he is just gonna continue to sand, 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 sand. And we ordered the springs, the heavy duty springs for 429. We need to get those shock uh, cushions again, like we did on the 69. Did I say 69 twice? Anyway. So we're going to get the, these heavy-duty springs and shocks and shock cushions. We are going for the calipers. And Chava is going to, when well, next time you see this on video, all this is going to be sanded down and beautiful. But we're getting there. Keep up the good work, Chava. Okay. All right. One of the things about taking the old back drums off is they can get pretty corroded onto here. And there's a little spring in the back, a little groove that you'll find in the back of this drum. I don't know if that's on camera, is it? Can you see that groove? That groove, you put a screwdriver, keep it on the way, and you put a screwdriver in there into this groove, and you can work this little um, piece that spreads out the brake pad. So you want to make sure that you got good movement on your drum before you try to take off your drum for the first time. Because sometimes the pads, like on the 66 Mustang we had, they actually corroded and rusted. The pads rusted to the insides of the drums. Not the case with this 71, but it is hanging on pretty darn hard. We put WD-40 in here to break it loose because it's, it's got to come out of here. I got a heavy hammer, and you got to be very careful. You don't want to crack this thing. It's cast iron. So you just tap it, tap it. There it goes. See it, see it release? And now... We find out what's underneath the drum. Brake pads. Has to be expected. Actually, the brake pads are in very good shape. Here's a little dust. <laughs> and these need to get wire wheeled and cleaned up. We're going to see how we can make them look. And we'll probably, we might not need to change the brake pads. We'll have to take, we'll have to, oops, we'll have to take a look at them. But there's one drum. We're going to take off the next one now. This is a case of brake pads holding on to the drum. So 
Success. Pads don't look bad on this either. Good news. Viewer tip from Mustang Medic. There should be a casting numbers on the block and the heads which will tell you the year of the motor. It is near the starter on the block and under the valve covers on the heads. It should say C9VE, DOVE, D1VE, D2VE, or D3VE. C stands for the 60s decade, D stands for the 70s decade, and there is a number that follows which is the year of the block or the heads. C9VE would be a 69, DOVE would be a 70, D1VE would be a 71, D2VE would be a 72, and D3VE would be a 73. With his safety protective goggles, <laughs> cleaning up, doing the wire wheeling on the, on the wheel. Thank you, Chava. We added an entire history of the Ford Mustang, so check out the website and read on. It's pretty great info. the Mustang Medic truck because we got some a logo that's coming that we're probably going to put on the glass or put back here in this panel. So if you want to get your logos off your truck for some reason, our reason is good is we're Mustang guys using the Chevy truck. Um, you can take a, a piece of like 20 gauge uh, fishing line and basically pull it back and forth and pull those emblems off and then you hit it with a goop and take it and then we're going to probably just go in there with rubbing compound to get rid of these outlines. Just a heads up. Working on the truck, working on the stangs. Trail is gonna get primer two white. We're gonna see if we can do all this by the 14. <laughs> this is our plan if all goes well with the truck. Uh, we are eventually gonna have these graphics on it, maybe more, probably more. Just had my birthday and I'm already feeling older. <laughs> um, yeah, 47 and guys that are 20 that are watching these videos, not many of you, but the 20 year olds, it comes fast, so be aware of that. I, I know the uh, 40, 50, and 60 year olds that are watching these videos can relate. We're going to go get the uh, parts now. We're going to set up an account and we're going to get some uh, of the front end brakes and springs, possibly shocks, depending on the budget, and uh, start to set up the front end to receive the 429 when she's ready to go in. We're not slowing down. Guys, we're going. Guys, we're going through memory lane with Auto Body Men with our first Cobra project. Those of you, those of you that have been with us through the Cobra project, remember this car? 40 days of videos. We were just speaking to the owner of it right now. We gave her our card, and uh, it's a five-speed uh, convertible, 97 Rick, yeah. 97 Cobra. So. Just thought we'd show it to you. This is back in the old auto body men days. If you guys remember that 40 day project where we sold that car, we love this car. It's a great handling, a lot of power, five speed stick, which we love to do. And maybe the next car will be a stick. We hope so. But just uh, for memories, we thought we'd show you this car. A little appreciation for the 97 Cobra. If you appreciate our efforts to educate, please send a donation for the cause via PayPal. Our PayPal email address is paypal at mustangmedic.com. Look for a link in the description for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. Mustangmedic.com. Mustangmedic.com.